my name is Kelly Belgrave. Um, I'm 31 years old. I had my kidney transplant in February of 08 and my um, pancreas transplant about six months later. This is not for Rick, it's my life partner, my living donor. He gave me his kidney. I've had diabetes since I was eight years old and um, my kidneys failed in maybe I would say I was on dialysis at exactly a year. I counted it to the date as far as I started dialysis on February 1st of 2007 and it was February 1st of 2009 that I used to press Dr. Lerner, my surgeon at Mount Sinai on getting me this or um, continue, or finishing the process of having this kidney transplant. I tested to be a donor and um, I happen to be a positive match. Uh, me and my best friend actually. So that's just to show you what kind of person she is. She had, it wasn't just me being her boyfriend that wanted to give her a kidney. Anybody who knows her wanted to make sure that she lived to see as many years as God gives her. My experience at Mount Sinai with the transplant has been, <laughs> I mean, on a, uh, if we deal in like a teacher, I would give Mount Sinai an A. Mount Sinai to me is just the building but the staff in Mount Sinai has made the transplant experience just, you know, okay. You know, has made it like, you know, tolerable. Whereas it may have been something to knock me down, Mount, the staff at Mount Sinai has made it something um, happy and healthy. You know, they gave me life. My transplant is still new. You know, I have to still get used to after all these years being a diabetic, even Dr. Lerner, my surgeon, you know, she said to me one time in my hospital room, you know, Kelly, you have to get used to being healthy now. It's a transition, you know, to think of myself now, it literally became from me walking around scared if my blood sugar is going to drop to now, you know, I really don't have to watch so closely fine tune what I eat. So really now, in my life, I'm in a stage of wanting to help. As far as when I proposed, uh, I proposed to her, I, what was it, two months ago? Uh, it was yeah. actually, it's actually recently. Um, we've been together, we've been living together, you know what I mean? She's my soulmate, and I just, just, we just, as far as the health was concerned, we never concerned ourselves about, I guess, matrimony and stuff like that, because we just always wanted to make sure that she was all right. And once we were together, it really didn't matter, but now, with her having the transplant, with her being, like she says, having to get out of that frame of mind of being sick, I just want to open her eyes to all the capabilities of the things that we can do together. I guess in a whole, that's really what it was about.